Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here. As you can see, I'm kind of in a different place because I didn't feel like moving to 100% natural light, so I apologize. This isn't 100% natural light, but I do have a natural light lamp, which is right in front of me, and I hope the lighting is okay. It's not the best in the world, but I just didn't feel like kneeling in front of my window, which is normally what I do when I record my videos, but this is just going to be like a chit-chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm getting ready for my last day of work. I hope you guys like my hair. Isn't it cute? I've got like a little side part. I'm like just so happy with the way my hair turned out. I just did a first impression video on my first time using bentonite clay and then I did my usual wash and go routine which is using, well I use this on my face and on my hair. This is bentonite clay. I did my typical wash and go using my Eco Styler Argan Moroccan Argan Oil Gel. And that's all I have in my hair, and it looks great today. I'm really happy how it turned out. And my skin feels so good. And I used the Bentonite Clay as a face mask as well. And then I just moisturized with aloe vera gel. And now I'm going to do this chit chat. Get ready with me. There's some things I need to <laughs> discuss with you. Just kidding, I'm not really discussing, but just let you know that um, I'm going to be super busy because. Um, Actually, a week from today, I'll be in St. Louis, so I'm not going to be able to make too many videos. Most of my videos are probably just going to be blogs that I make on my iPhone. So, yeah, this will be the last few videos that I make this week in this bathroom. We're going to be the last ones for a little while. And then I start band camp um, full-time for three weeks after that. So basically for about a month, I'm probably going to be very infrequent with my videos. But I just go ahead and start getting ready. I'm going to use my CoverGirl season cream today. So yeah, I just want to let you know I'm going to St. Louis. It's my, um, do I want to use primer today? I should use primer. It's my fraternity. It's our triennial national convention, and it's in St. Louis, and I'm really excited. I'm also going to be meeting up with my high school best friend, Hannah. I haven't seen her since 2012 in the fourth, so really excited for this trip, and it's going to be a much needed trip before I have to start teaching day camp, and before, you know, it's back to school. I'm going to be going to my ninth semester of college. I had to think about that for a second. Going into my ninth semester at Winthrop University. Y'all know no, I'm pursuing music education. I'll also be in my full-time, not my full-time, my part-time internship, my internship one, so. And working two jobs. And sometimes modeling on the side. So I'm going to be super duper duper busy this fall. So I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to pump out for you all. But yeah, so I just want to let you know that most of my videos that are going to be coming up next week are probably just going to be vlogs of me at convention. You know, I'm going to try and document the trip to the best of my abilities um, because this is, it's not a once in a lifetime thing, but it will be the last time. Well, it's a once in a lifetime thing for me to attend as a collegiate member because after this, I'll be graduating, which means I'll be an alumni member, and I'm just using a latex-free little cosmetic wedge to blend this in. So yeah, but I'm really thankful for your support. My channel has grown so much this year, like more than I ever expected, hoped for, or imagined. My goal was actually to get to 100 subscribers because you know these videos aren't super duper high quality they aren't you know edited they aren't fancy they don't have any cute text I don't look fancy most of the time I'm just in my bathroom chilling you know I don't get all dressed up and stuff like you know it's pretty like low-key and chill so I wasn't expecting too many people to follow me but I am thankful for the followers that I do have and I really do appreciate you guys for, you know, watching and commenting and 
As you guys know, I do try and answer all your requests and make the videos that you ask of me. So this weekend I will be doing that look that I had in my videos from yesterday, the purple, the purple lip and the um, like purple on the bottom lash line. But in this video, it's also a chit chat get ready with me, but I'm also going to be testing out one of the new palettes I got that I just showed in my unboxing video. I'm excited to try it out. I'm not sure which one, if I'm going to use Missy Lynn or if I'm going to use the Dark Rose, but they're both from BH Cosmetics. <laughs> I still have some like clay on my wrist, just ignore that. <laughs> but today's my last day of work at Jersey Mike Subs. It's been real. <laughs> Jersey Mike. I enjoyed working there. I really did. It was it was nice to, you know, get away from home and not just be in the house all the time. But so I'm gonna go for like more medium coverage. I'm gonna cover these up just a little bit more on my scars. So I'm just really gonna focus this on the sides of my face. But I really do love this uh, CC cream. This is my first ever CC cream. This is probably my last. I'm really trying not to, uh, I don't know, like, spend as much on makeup, which I really don't spend a lot, a lot, but you know, I think I'm going to try and get like a few higher makeup items that I really want to try. There's like certain foundations, because like I've said before, I'm a foundation junkie. There's a few foundations I really want to get that are on the higher end price. And like there's just one more eyeshadow palette that I really want that's high end. And so I think I'm just gonna get like a few more makeup items and then like stop spending money on my self when it comes to makeup and try and save more because I have all these trips coming up for school. Like this trip this summer is basically being paid for by my parents and my school. My school gave me three hundred dollars sponsor trip. It was a part of one of my scholarships that I had for the past four years. But like I'm to that age, you know, I'm twenty two where I wanna start doing things for myself and I'm thankful that my parents have been able to provide for me, but I kinda wanna give them a break sometimes. And because I've only been working like eight to twelve hours a week. I haven't really been able to save up too much this summer. So they're basically paying for this trip. I'm uh, very thankful to them for that. But with this marching band job, I definitely think that this year I'll be able to not have to ask them for money at all. So I'm very thankful for this job that I got. Thankful for that my director of bands and the assistant or associate or whatever his title is, the uh, second director of bands, Assistant director of I think. I'm thankful that they suggested me for this job and that they offered me this position as a low reads instructor. But yeah, y'all know I take forever to like blend out my face. I kind of don't want to set it because it looks like really nice and skin like. I don't know what look I'm going for today because <laughs> I'm just going to go make some. No offense if that's your career. I'm just saying, you know, I don't really need to look. You know how I normally look to do that. This is actually, this is probably gonna be my band camp makeup, so. With some, you know, lip gloss, because I don't plan on wearing any mascara or eyeshadow or anything, because I'm gonna be outside for 60 hours a week out in the hot South Carolina sun with my kids. I'm so excited. I'm really thankful I got this job. I'm just excited for like the next month before I go back to school or whatever. It's just a lot is going to be happening. And I'm excited to find out where my internship is, where I'm going to be teaching elementary school. That's my first internship. That's not my preferred age group to teach, but uh, I think it's going to be fun. Like I'm excited. I've already been like planning lessons and coming up with little fun, cute ideas for us to do, ways for us to learn music. So yeah, I'm excited to find out where I'm going to be. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on to brows. Do I want to set this? Do I not want to set this? I don't think I'm going to set it, guys. Let's be. 
Let's be, uh, let's try new things today. I may regret it later. I may have to set it later. Who knows? But yeah. Man, I'm like kind of bending so that y'all can see. You know, I just use eyebrow pencils as for a um, Wet n Wild color icon. Brow pencil. Then black off. But yeah, I just want to let you know that I'm not disappearing forever. I just know that I'm on a trip and then I'm working 60 hours a week with kids outside. So I'm probably not going to have too much free time to really film anything. So if you want to keep up with me, I suggest following me on my social media to know what I'm up to, what I've been up to, what's going on. And all my social media is at oh so very sexy. And I have them linked in the box below. Let's talk about that for a moment. Cause I know somebody probably has a question about what does oh so very sexy mean? So for those of you don't, that don't know, I'm a saxophonist. That is my primary instrument. And that's what I have been studying in college is saxophone. And my favorite saxophone to play is the baritone saxophone. And you know, I was thinking like kind of, what's the word? Not alliteration, but this is why I'm not an English teacher. Uh, or something it sounds sort of like, but it means something different. Like, I can't remember. But like, oh so very sexy. Kind of sounds like oh so very sexy. Which I think is funny, but it's not oh so very sexy. It's oh so very sexy. So I thought it was cute. It was funny. And yeah, that's why I have that as my name. And it, I'm surprised it wasn't taken. And um, yeah, I just love Barry Sax. It's my favorite saxophone. I love anything low. I love the low saxophones. I love low voices. I personally am a contralto. I'm like a contralto mezzo, contra mezzo. I'm like in between being a contralto and a mezzo soprano. And so I just love low sounds. Like they're just like your rock, your foundation. So I love listening to the basses in church. So we see a cappella at my church. Is, uh, I love like berry sax, bass sax, tuba x, all that stuff. So I also like tuba. Any low instruments, baritone, euphonium, those are the same thing. But um, yeah, that's where that name came from. So if you want to keep up with me for the next like month, and then school starts, so I know I'm gonna be super busy. So basically, I can't really make any promises about how many videos a week I'm gonna have uploaded. This summer, I've been pretty good. I've had like between two to like 10 videos a week because I haven't really been doing too much. Like I said, I've only been working like eight to 12, maybe sometimes occasionally 16 hours a week. So I've had a lot of free time to record, upload, get some content out there. I've been kind of like trying to brand my channel kind of, but not really. Just, you know, make it more, I guess, more like the more successful YouTubers. Because this is just, like I said, a fun hobby for me. Y'all know I don't really edit my videos at all. I normally don't. If I do do many editing, it's because I accidentally ended a video and I have to cut it together and paste it to the rest of the video so that you can see the whole thing. But other than that, I don't do any editing. And I've only had to do that a couple times because I accidentally end the video. But yeah, like that's why my channel, the channel is called Raw, Real, and Unedited. I'm not doing this to get famous. I'm not doing it to make money. I do it because I enjoy it and I get to interact with people that are not like me, who don't live near me, and who are learning just like I am. Like, I'm not a pro at any of this stuff. This is another color icon eyebrow pencil. This is just in brunettes do it better. My back really hurts. I may have to do it. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, hey. Yeah. Most of the time I'm like kneeling in my videos. I used to sit in the computer chair, but then my parents would sometimes need to use the computer and the computer chair wouldn't be out of there because I had it, so. <laughs> I just kneel, I'm young. But yeah. Just wanna let you know that I'm not gonna have as many videos up in the future probably I don't know I don't know when I'm gonna be able to upload like I have been but I've really been enjoying it I'm really thankful for the growth of my channel and for your support and I just really can't say that enough and 
Please keep suggesting things for me to shoot. And talk about on this channel. So I like suggestions. And I want to make videos that y'all want to watch. This eyebrow's being a little um, defiant. Oh, this is going to be perfect. This one just looks better. It's normally the opposite. This how usually looks better than this eyebrow, but I don't know, they've been switching, I guess. Whatevs. Okay, I think I'm done with that. I'm trying to get the tail of that one, like, perfect. I'm kind of a perfectionist, but not too, too, too crazy. You know, I just don't like to present myself just any type of way out here in the world, you know? I think that's one of the reasons I got suggested for the job that I just got. It's because of the way I carry myself. All right, so I'm done with my brows. I think I should set this maybe. I don't know. I like how it looks, but I'm gonna set it to be able to fix it. And for that, I'm going to use my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Creamy Bronze Finish. I know I love this. I need to get another one. I fit pan. But, uh, yeah, I love this. I'm really just going to pat this all over. And this helps to add a little bit of coverage. But, um, yeah, it's been a great summer, honestly. Um, it started off kind of rocky because I was going through some depression and stuff, but um, really everything that happened, like my breakup and all that stuff, it just made me a lot closer and dependent on God. And it's really just been a time for me to rest. Like, I was going to try and get, like, two jobs so I could have more hours and, you know, make more money. So that I don't have to ask my parents for stuff and take a burden off them, but really, I've just been able to rest this summer because I know that until basically May of next year, I'm going to be super duper 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 busy, and I think he would tell me that I need to slow down and not always be so busy. He's God. I'm sure you guys got that, but just to clarify. So yeah, and it's just been a time to kind of work on myself, work on my channel, you know, really refocus, reset, and rededicate my life to truly living as a Christian woman should because I haven't been, and I can be honest and real about that. I think that's a problem that a lot of people have is that they're not really honest about how they're living. When it comes to their walk with Christ, you've got to be, because, you know, he knows everything. You can't hide anything from God. And, like, I just really hate the word hypocrite, and I don't want to be a hypocrite. If I'm going to be calling myself a Christian, I really need to live, walk, breathe, speak that way. And carry my way as such. And it's hard, especially when you don't have too many Christian friends around you, but it's not impossible. And um, just being more comfortable and just being alone, like knowing that I don't need anyone to validate my importance, my worth. Just learning how to spend time with myself, because like I said, I don't have too many friends here. I really don't have any friends here. <laughs> so yeah that's that but I'm looking forward to the future all right yes so how much better that is just with foundation and eyebrows like what a difference that makes I just love even skin you know I'm a foundation rookie I just if I could, like, ever change one thing about myself, this is such a random get-ready talk with me. 
get ready chit chat video. That's what they're called. Get ready with me chit chat video. So random. I'm like jumping from topic to topic, but if there was one thing I could ever change about my physical appearance, if there were a surgery to have perfect, even, clear skin that never got acne and never got scars, I would keep my birthmark though, because that's something that is a part of me. Um, but you know, like no acne scars, no that. If there was a surgery you could get, or like some substance you could take, or whatever, one time that like gave you perfect, even skin all over your body, all year round, all four seasons, that's the only thing I would change because I just love beautiful skin. That's like one thing that I just like admire. I really like. Okay. Do I want to wear a blush today? I'm not going to contour or anything today. Probably not even going to highlight today. What palette do I want to try? Do I want to do the Missy Lynn palette? Or do I want to do the Dark Rose palette? I don't know. I'm not sure which palette I want to try. Um, this one has blushes in it though. So I may do the Dark Rose today and do Missy Lynn another day. But this also has highlighters in it. You know, this is life decisions. Let's do Missy Lynn because. Because, just because our work. Alright, so let me show you. Even though y'all have seen this all over YouTube. So this is how it comes packaged. It has a nice big mirror up here, trying not to like blind you. And I love the quote here. It says, start with confidence, finish with success underneath the mirror. You can see that right here. And it has plastic over the eyeshadows and the highlighters. So I'm gonna just uh, try and attempt to rip a ball. Or at least unfold one side. There we go. And so there are the colors. Those are the highlighters and the eyeshadows. Very pretty. So let's just use this palette and I'll just highlight. I won't wear blush today. Okay, so for the eyes, <laughs> what do I want to do? Let me get my brushes a little closer. Alrighty. I'm glad this, this is going to be a simple look. I'm probably just going to use one or two eyeshadows. I keep it real simple for work. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this color right here into the crease because it's a nice like shimmery brown color. It's kind of like Morocco from Anastasia Beverly Hills which y'all know is one of my favorites for the crease as a transition color. And I'll use her mirror and I'm just going to use this brush right here. Whoa. Ooh yes. Ooh but that's pretty. It has shimmer to it. I don't even know if y'all can see this. Anyway, the color payoff is amazing. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. This is so pretty alone. I could just put this all over my lid. But for the sake of this video, I'll try and use two eyeshadows and a bronzer. I mean, not a bronzer, a highlighter today. Oh no, I can highlight my inner corner, so I'll use three eyeshadows from this. And there's six in here, so I'll use half. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a like an orangey, cinnamony kind of color that I'm putting. It's my transition color. I'm putting this all in the crease from inner to outer crease, and I'm like blending it out as I go. It's really pretty. Hopefully y'all can see that. Alrighty, now we're gonna go on to the lid. <laughs> and for the lid, I'm going to use this color right here in the middle, which is like a shimmery brown. Yeah, it's like a brown, brownish, bronzy, goldy kind of color. It's pretty. This palette's very pretty. I may not give this to my sister. And I'm just going to pat this onto the lid using this brush from Coastal Sin. I haven't opened my BH Cosmetics brushes yet. I need to wash them before I use them. So I'm really just going to pat this on the lid. All over the lid. Pretty, pretty. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm going to tell you. That's pretty much it. Just know that. My future is really, really, really busy and jam-packed all day. Like, I'm busy all day, so 
If you really want to keep up with me, I highly suggest that you follow me on social media, Snapchat, and Instagram are the ones I use the most. Okay, thanks, Dominique. My sister made me pizza roll. She's the real MVP. So, I need to hurry up and finish this, which... Oh, that is so pretty. Wow, look at those two shadows, and it looks like I did the most. I hope you can see this. Okay, yeah, I'm not giving this out to my sister. Love her. She's the MVP and all. I might just get her her own after I make that money from Bandcamp, you know. Anyways, moving on, getting distracted. <laughs> I'm going to now put this really light color right here into my uh, inner tear duct. I'm like pointing off, I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> into my inner tear duct, and let's just use, I have all my brushes like in this like circle container that used to hold bungee cords in it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna use this color right here to put in my inner tear duct. I love the mirror on this. It's a great size. It's a nice big mirror. Perfect for recording videos. Alright, I'm going to do a little subtle inner corner highlight. Help open up these eyes. And I could drag it out a little bit on that bottom lash line. I thought this really makes my eyes look nice. And pretty and like enhances the almond shape that my eyes are. Okay, so now the color that I use in the crease, which is this color right here, the like orangey brown reddish color right here, I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my bottom lash line using the same brush. I'm not even gonna wipe it off, just go in. And like I said, I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my bottom lash line. so that there's some sort of color down there. So that's what the eyes look like. Alrighty. And that's it for eyeshadow. Super simple, super pretty. Hopefully y'all can see that. Really nice. Really pretty. Love. And now let's just go on to highlighting. Since I'm not going to wear any blush today, I'm going to use the more... Man, these are both really pretty. I'm going to use the more like pinky highlighter in here. Let me show you the two of them. So I'm going to use this one on this side. I already got this thing dirty. Bruh, I just started using it. Okay, so I'm going to use this highlighter. And I'm going to use this brush that I always use to highlight with. This one. It looks more pink. Ooh, this is strong. You barely need to touch this. Okay, it's about to be real. Oh my gosh, it's so like shimmery. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, we're going to be... I'm going to be about that glow life today, and I'm just going to swirl it basically all over my, all over my cheek, on the top of my cheek, all over my cheek. I'm not wearing blush today. Let's just, let's just go in with this. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glowing. <laughs> I love that. I can see that. It's intense. It's beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to use this kind of like a little blush too. And I'm in my bathroom. I don't know if I already said that. So I'm like looking in the bathroom mirror. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't playing with these highlighters. Becca who? You did a great job, Missy. You did this. When you, when you did these highlighters, this is like beautiful, y'all. Okay. And I'm just going to take some and go over my brows with it. So basically this is a strobing, like a strobing part too, I guess you could say. Going with my brows with it as well. Oh man, this is so pretty. And let's go down the center of my nose. Get the tip of it as well. 
make sure I really get the bridge because my nose is kind of on the flatter side. I mean, I have a bridge, but it's not like, you know. You can't really see it from the front. My nose is not flat. Oh, my knees are hurting. I'm going to stand back up. Get old. <laughs> Shake it out. Okay. I'm almost done anyway. Okay. Wow, that is that is really powerful. I'm not gonna show you guys mascara on camera for the sake of time. This is like a really long video, whatever. Okay. And we're gonna keep spill. My brush is broke, bruh. Raw, real, and unedited, like really? It's okay though. You don't like the cute spill area? Just do a little bit on the chin, whatever's left. I do not want to put this on my forehead because it's real intense. So we'll just take some like above on the temple like area, above the brows. Oh wow. I'm just really strong that sense. It's like a workout. I've got like my feet really, really far apart and I'm like lunging to one side, lunging to the other. Y'all probably think I'm the most random person right now. Okay, so I am done using the Missy Lynn palette for this makeup look. I used three for eyeshadows and one of her highlights today. And all I'm going to do is add mascara to the eyes. That's the last thing I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do it on camera for the same time. Let's choose the lip color today. I'm just going to work. So nothing too fancy. Let's just do. No, this is my lip basket. It's and it's full. Let's do wet and wild muckalicious. Thank you, Glam Twins, for getting me hooked on this. Nice new clips today. Hmm. I'm getting a little fresh with y'all. No, no, no. Team Celebi. <laughs> hmm, don't want the gloss over this? No, nah, I'm leaving how it is. All right, so, <laughs> get back there on my knees. Sorry this is super random, but just want to let you know what's happening, let you know a little bit more about me and my life, and um, I thank you for watching this video. Like I said, I'm just going to put on mascara. If you want to see the completed look, and if you want to see what's happening with me over the course of the next, like, nine months, because I'll have limited time to upload, like I said, follow me on my social media. That is the best way to keep up with me. So this is all. With the completed hair and almost completed makeup, I'll use some mascara. Just kept it simple, you know. Last day at work, I look cute. All right, again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Keep suggesting things. Keep up with me through social media. Interact with me. I want to talk to you. Comment. Leave questions. Like, I want to talk with you. And I'll follow you on your social media, too, but you follow me. I always usually follow back. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. Again, thank you for watching this video. If y'all made it to the end, God bless you, because you all know some of my videos be extremely long. B. Some of my videos are extremely long. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'm going to go eat pizza rolls now. Bye.